Hello, Jose Leveguire here, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your own Spotfire mod development environment. On a previous video, I explained what are Spotfire mods and how to download and use them. In this video, I'm going to show you how to develop your own mods or how to modify existing mods. So let's get started. You will need to download Visual Studio Code, which is a lightweight code editor. You will also need to download Node.js. These Visual Studio and Node.js are available in Linux, Windows, or Mac, so you can develop your mods in any of these environments. I like to download the long-term support version, which is the recommended version, and you will also need to have a Spotfire uh, development or a Spotfire instance, and it doesn't matter if it's on the client or on the web, you can develop mods on the web directly. And the last thing you will need is the source code, so you can modify existing mods that are available in the Tipco software GitHub account. And here you can also find a blank template. This blank template is the equivalent of a hello world environment. Let me show you how this is done so you can see how all these tools play together. This is how Visual Studio looks like and you might ask, okay, how does Node.js looks like? So Node.js runs behind the scenes, but I can see if it's installed by running the command npm dash v and that will give me the version if it's properly installed now the next thing i want to do is download the necessary software or blank templates from tipco software github account and click on this code button and download the zip file okay here we go i'm going to download here and i'm going to extract the folder once it finished downloading here we go so i am going to click on Spotfire master and go to examples and here I see different other mods but I'm going to focus on this JS dev started which will be my starting point of a blank mod template I'm going to extract it I used I like to have a dev mods folder where I develop other mods I'm going to extract it extract it here and the next thing you want to do is rename that folder for whatever you are developing. So my JSF started, I'm going to rename it as JS Hello World. Okay, now that we finished downloading or extracting that file, I'm going to open Visual Studio Code. I'm going to put it side by side to this window and just drag and drop here to Visual Studio Code. So Visual Studio will open into that folder location. And then you go directly to the readme file because every time you download one of these templates you want to go through the readme file which has instructions important instructions rather for every of the mods not all the instructions are similar except for this first step which is open a terminal and run the npm install command so let's open a terminal and run the command npm install and this is going to download all the packages that I need. You will see a folder showing up here, which includes all the necessary libraries for your mod to start. You can ignore that folder for now. Uh, and, and, uh, and the next command that we're gonna do once the, all the, these packages are finished downloading is, call, is run the command npm run server. And that will start the development server where I can connect it to my Spotfire instance. All right, so now I'm going to run npm run server. And this is going to compile the code and connect the code that I'm working with into Spotfire. This is going to open a new window in on my browser. So let me just close this for now. And while this opens, I'm going to do side by side see how this uh, new page was open after I compiled, uh, after I run the npm run uh, server. And then the next step is to start coding uh, the source main.js, which contains the entry point of everything that I need to do. I'm not going to do that for now. I'm just going to show you how to connect Spotfire to the development environment and see how this works. So this I can develop on the web or on the client. It doesn't matter. I have this analysis open and I'm going to Go to edit mode and create a new page. I don't need to create a new page, but I want, I want, I'm going to create a new page. 
oops, I closed the other one. That's okay. I create a new page and then I do, I go to tools, development, create visualization mod. And then I click on connect, connect to project, click on development server, and I make sure that this URL matches the one that I have in my Visual Studio Code. And once I connect the blank template or the hello world file looks like this. I'm gonna close this. And you see the window size is showing, um, it's rendering 92 rows and my property value. So I can um, change the size of my window and that should change a, a bit. Now I, I can start coding. I'm do, going to do something real simple so you can see what's the, the next step. And then um, in the next video, I'm going to work, uh, walk, uh, walk you through the Spotfire mod development process or development lifecycle. So it says go to main.js and usually it's a bunch of code that I'm going to be explaining through, but there's a part in particular where it's uh, a rendering this information. So here I am, uh, the container is taking the mod container from the HTML and it's adding this information as a te text content. So I can also have a container text content and I'm going to append Hello world. Okay, and uh, I click save, control S, and it should automatically show up here, my hello world here, you see hello world. And that's it. Now you should have a Spotfire mod development environment and know how to get started creating or modifying existing mods. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to learn more or know when new videos come available. That's it.